The Bureau of Statistics has been looking into the wallets of the nation. No big shocks, as it's examined anonymised bank transactions. Your cost of living has been going up and it's hard to spend money on services when you're in a COVID lockdown. The big jump is in what's called non-discretionary spending. Things that should be called the unavoidables, such as food, fuel and housing. We talk a lot about CPI, the Consumer Price Index, but it doesn't count many of the things you need to live. As you can see here, the cost of buying those things has soared in the past year. Overseas, the US market was down, but India's key index leapt almost 1.5% after a big earnings result from part of the nation's largest conglomerate, Tata. The Aussie dollar remains near 70 US cents, but not above it, stable in trading today. And on commodity markets, gold still shining, but trading was flat today. It's about 8% off the record high it set in mid-2020. Locally, our All Ordinaries Index was marginally down today. Many of the companies in that top 500 will be subject to the new process for reducing carbon pollution. Some of them will be screaming about it, but a lot of them have set much more ambitious targets than the government. And that's finance.